Dala Rieko is derived from two Luo words. Dala which means home and Rieko which means knowledge. Dala Rieko therefore means the home of knowledge. It is located at Asembo Bay in Siaya County and was founded in the year 2008 as a community-based organization by Tor and Alex. The main goal of Dala Rieko is to provide a meeting place for sharing of knowledge and good practice. Siaya County has an estimated bird population of 1 million, consisting of 82% free-ranging birds, 15% commercial layers and broilers. Other poultry species like duck, turkey, pigeon, ostrich, guinea fowl, and quail make up 3% of the population. Annually, the county produces about 1,900 megatons of poultry meat and 716,000 trays of eggs. Despite this, the county has a deficit of both poultry meat and eggs which are supplemented by imports. Let's have a look at how Dalarico Sachary is helping farmers in the county to curb this deficit. A hatchery is a facility where eggs are hatched under artificial conditions. At Dalarieko's hatchery, they use solar energy to hatch the eggs laid by the hens and other birds. Nango Solar, which is based in Kisumu, provides them with locally made hatcheries which are power efficient. Let's have a look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The others, Makabe, Makabe fall in the same category with this one. Yeah. Uh, two. Uh, and two. Later, we get a video of the whole thing and so on. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Mag, no one Mark me na no mufet ne kito. Mano belong to the owner. Kaka mana kaka ne bo na chowu lebi. Ne farmer se ma kilo tau. Tau na ti umla haji. And so he takes the chicks. Koro na to okonya kilo mora mo one in kibeta. Si okonya kilo kada mi kada pa kada mi. Kilometer <laughs> so, 
The solar incubator recreates the role that a broody hen plays in nature. Let's see what happens after that. Day 1. The germinal disc is at the blastodermal stage. Day 2. The first groove appears at the center of the blastoderm. Day 3. Onset of blood circulation. Day 4. Appearance of the allantoic vesicles or calcium resorption, respiration and waste storage. Day 5. Differentiation of the fingers of the inferior limbs. Day 6. The vitelline membrane continues to grow. Day 7. Separates the head from the body. Formation of the beak. Day 8. Budding of the first feather follicle. Eye pigmentation is visible, as well as wings and legs differentiation. Day 9. The beak's upper and lower parts are differentiated. Day 10. Appearance of claws and extension of the limbs. Day 11, the embryo now has the cheek feature. Day 12, appearance of the leg scale. Day 13, feather follicles surround and cover the upper eye. Day 14, the head moves towards peeping position under the right wing. Day 15, progressive disappearance of the egg white. Day 16, down covers almost the whole body and grows rapidly. Day 17, the beak, which is under the right wing, points to the air cell. Day 18, progressive disappearance of the egg white. Day 19, the beak is against the inner shell membrane, ready to pierce it. Day 20, cheek pierces the inner shell membrane and breathes in the air cell. Day 21. The cheek extricates itself from the shell in 12 to 18 hours and lets it down dry up. Farmers benefit by using the incubator because their hens will continue laying eggs without being broody. This is profitable to them since by using the hatchery, they can increase egg production capacity. When the eggs are hatched, the owners are given their chicks which are identified by the labels on the eggs. Dalarieko has an internal capacity of hatching 1,400 chicks monthly, with an annual output of 16,800 chicks, therefore helping the county curb the poultry product deficit. Tune in to the next episode of the Dalarieko series to learn their practice on lake conservation and hyacinth control.